Babe. What? What is this baggage? See this, Harper? Have you ever heard of a shopping addiction? No. You haven't? Well, let me teach you about that today. Oh, I'm You guys are bullying me. Okay, well, I met. I will admit that I did go a little overboard on the shopping recently, but you know when you have one of those moments where you're like, oh, I'm a little bit sad right now, and I have some things in my cart, and you're like, oh, I'll just buy one of those things. And then one of them turns into two, and then two of them turns into three, and three of them turns into four. I'm guilty. Do you guys want a haul? <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a rundown though before I give you a haul of where I thought that I'd put this mirror because it's gonna be funny if we open it and it's not going to fit in any of those places. Option number one is replacing this um, pot with it going down here because this is gonna be turned into a bench and we have a new breakfast like nook table coming so I thought that would look really good or I thought maybe here I don't know <laughs> that's looking small I don't know if it'll fit there um, we also have a lot of mirrors in this area, so I don't know. This is also one of those things that I bought that I was like, oh, it's just in my cart, like, whatever. Odie, 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 Odie. Harbor, this is for you. This is not a full length mirror, although it is long. It's like a half full length, you know? That's nice. You like it? Yeah. See, aren't you glad? I'm so glad, babe. I do love it. <laughs> All right, grand reveal. It's definitely not a full length mirror, like it said. It's like a half length, you know? Yeah. It's definitely bigger than I thought it was, but I actually really like it. Okay, I love this mirror so much. I think it's like the perfect shade of gold. What do you think? Is it perfect? perfect. Say perfect. Guys, we're freaking out because I'm having a full-on panic attack right now. Abby's, one of the pearls just fell out of her ring. Well, I didn't see it fall out. I just looked down and I was like... Right, That's so we don't on. know even when it fell out. I was just sitting here and I just washed my hands like five minutes ago after yeah, I was opening so packages. It's, I, that's the, probably <gasps> the most likely now. place it went, it I guess. And it's not by the packages or anything either. Oh, well, I mean, it's so tiny. You guys want to see? Babe, I'm so I'm sorry. Well, why, you shouldn't be I sorry. I feel so bad. What, what, what did you do? <laughs> but I feel like I just yeah, yank it wrong. out. I don't even wear my ring like when no, I'm like doing dishes. I so clean it or it. I take it off when I clean or when I shower. I don't understand how it could have fallen out already. I've had it for like three weeks. I know. I keep thinking like little crumbs. It's really are. small. It's a really small pearl. Oh but I gosh. think I'm pretty sure it had a warranty for the accent stones. But do I have to have the pearl? Because like sometimes you have to have it for them to replace it. I don't know. But I have it, the warranty information downstairs. I should just go get it. Oh my gosh. I'm so upset right now. No, What the heck? I'm just surprised, like, how could it have fallen out that fast? Like, that just, that's not, like, a good sign, I know. you know? Like, in terms so of, like, sad. longevity of it, you know? I'm, like, shaking. I'm sorry. I'm so sad. Oh, it's not your fault. I feel really bad. It's not your fault, babe. I try and take care of it. You really take good. really good care of it. It's just that I'm it's, sorry. I mean, it, well, I don't know why you keep apologizing. I don't know, you because you bought it for me. Well, yeah, if anything, I should be apologizing, because, like, clearly I bought it from a place that didn't do a very good job of setting it. I love you. I'm sad. You don't love that food anymore. I do. Yeah. No, oh, babe. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go look at the warranty and then we'll figure it out once and for all. <laughs> okay. Manufacturer warranty, that's not it. Receipt, that's not it. Accent stone loss warranty. Oh, jeez. If any small accent gems break or fall out of their settings in the first year, we'll replace the accent gems free of charge. Pearls do not qualify. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How would that like, I just got it though. I know. Well shoot. That's okay. We'll just, we'll have to. I can't live without um, my ring. Well, that's a freaking bummer. That's I'm so confused. That's a freaking big fat bummer. So I remember that they like sent me a thing. Did I, I think I sent it to you with, that said like how to take care of like pearls and emeralds. Both of them are like more. Uh, fragile. Less, yeah, they're like fragile at, for a ring. So it's like, I think, I think one of the thing was like, maybe like don't like wash your hands with it or like whatever, but you usually don't. That's a freaking bummer. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna try and kiss you, but you're going to go away. I'm trying to figure out there, like, do you think that I should contact them and see, like, if they'll, yeah. like, charge me to fix it and I'll yeah. send it back to them? Because maybe they'll say, like, oh, you haven't had it that long, like, we'll just fix it. Maybe, yeah. 
Okay, I think that's best because then I'll just like see how much they say it is yeah. to fix it and Okay. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Anyway, what I was gonna say before we had this oh. fiasco with the ring situation, I keep looking oh. right here because this is where you said that you I think it's lost where I it. Washed my hands. That's yeah. The only thing that makes sense. Yeah, I think you're right. But anyway, before, what I was gonna say before we start talking about this was uh, now I have lipstick on my face for you. Sorry. My bad. Okay. You just uh, look cute. Cool. I'm going to the store now and I'm going to buy some ovulation tests because we were thinking. Well, so I had a meeting with the fertility doctor that we are going through. And I asked him, is there any way that we could do like just one at least at home, like try at it to get pregnant? And he said, yeah, sure, why not? So we thought maybe we will. I and mean, we want to at least have the option to be able to do that, like given the time. So we've been thinking, are you washing your hands with your ring on? No. So we've been thinking, um, I'm gonna track my ovulation now, so I wanna make sure that they I'm like on we it. We didn't have to when we were originally going yeah. to jump right to IUI or IVF. Cause they, um, I think they, they do like do your like blood work and stuff to make sure, like to see when you're ovulating yeah. and all Which that. Which I think they kind of do if we do it at medicated at home right. too, but. But we want to make sure that we have the option and we like are prepared, like given that circumstance. And so like, if I don't track my ovulation, like right now this month, yeah. then we might not have the opportunity just based off like what yeah. happens. So anyway, I'm going to run to the store right now and get that. Okay. But do you know what you're getting? No. Because I'm very specific. Yeah, Cause I was going to, I need to ask you that. So you need the CVS. You want to write it down? CVS? Yes, the CVS brand. They might have a different brand. brand. I'm not super picky, but I like the little strippies. Little strippies. It's like a CVS brand. It's like the Equate brand of like Walmart, but the CVS brand. Okay. And then the clear this blue. This autocorrected to little strippers. So if I come back with a couple of little strippers. <laughs> oh, then, I mean. You're, you true. can't blame Okay. Me. And then the clear blue digital. Make sure you get the one that has like, you know how you insert it insert. each time. Sure. You might have to buy, sometimes you have to buy like the meter and then the like little sticks, if that makes okay. sense. Okay. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Insert little stick, little sticks and little strippers. While Julia runs to the store really quick, I'm going to clean up Harper's room because I'm going to give him a snack and put him down for a nap. And it's a disaster in here. He's been playing in here all morning and he's currently watching a video of a dog getting a bath and he has made a giant mess. I'm going to clean that up get him a snack to eat before it is nap time. We also have a new camera coming, I think next week that I bought. And I'm really excited because I love this camera, but I bought one that I think will be a little bit more compact. It'll be less hard for Harbor to break since we have done some damage on this camera. And I just was looking back at our old videos and I loved the quality of that so much more. So I hope that I like this one that comes in the mail soon. And I hope it gets here soon because our viewfinder is all sorts of effed up. I don't know what I'm gonna make Harper for a snack. I know that right now his favorite thing to eat that's pretty healthy is avocado and tomato. So maybe I'll do this with some fruit and some cottage cheese or something. Do you want avocado? Avocado or tomato or both? Both? Oh! Food, 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 food. All right, do you want applesauce? Applesauce? Yes? Okay, let's go eat. Come on. It is the moment of truth to see if Julia went to the store with what I said that I needed and got exactly what I needed. I didn't get any strippers. Aww, that was the one thing I wanted. These are the good ones. I really like these. Really, I really like these tests and the clear blue because then you have the option of the digital that's a little bit, I don't, I don't want to say more accurate, but it's more like telling. It's like 100% what's going on. It's not like, what does this line look like? It's either a smiley face or a flashing smiley face. So I like that. And then I like that you can tell how the line gets gradually darker with these. So she did it. Julia's been saying that she feels like she can tell when she's ovulating just from like the past couple of months of like, kind of being more aware and we're gonna put her to the test. Maybe I'll do that in a video, stay tuned for that. But anyway, I think we're going to end the video here. That is pretty much it for today's vlog. I'm gonna put Harper down now. He had his food and he's ready for a good nap. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.